10 News meteorologist Angelica Campos joining us. And it looks like uh, the beach behind you, popular place today. <laughs> That's right. Lindsay, I like the way you walked in the studio today and said the heat is just too much. And I am very sure most people agree with that. It is hot. It is sunny, it is dry, and the conditions are just not ideal as we head into fall, but that is what we have in place today. Some of the hottest places reaching 104 degrees in Santee, Escondido 103, 102 in Valley Center, 102 degrees also in Poway, El Cajon 101, and Sanitas 87 degrees. And we had records today in Alpine, in Ramona, and also in Vista. As we look outside in San Diego, clear skies, it is blue, it is beautiful, but it is very warm. And we're expecting this pattern to continue continue. St. Anna winds will persist for one more day. That is going to keep hot, dry and gusty winds in place. Also, the marine layer will stay away for now. As long as we have those St. Anna winds, it's going to get pushed away. But later this week, it'll return with cooler temperatures for the end of the week. We can't get there soon enough, right? In the meantime, 90 says Candido, 91, Ramona, 91 in Alpine and 72 degrees in La Jolla. It was very warm since early this morning at 7 a.m. and we're expecting the conditions to start off like that tomorrow. The winds not too bad, but they're gusting at times between 15 up to 35 miles per hour. And because of that downslope effect, it's leading to very dry conditions from the mountains into the deserts. Once you get over towards the western valleys, we do find higher relative humidity numbers, and that is because of the onshore flow towards the coast and into some of those areas where we do have better moisture levels. Our heat advisory will stay in effect until 8 p.m. Wednesday night. Temperatures ranging between 95 to 100 degrees or even higher than 100, just like today. Tomorrow could be even a little bit warmer with some areas expected to be about 15 degrees above the normal. This is midnight. This would be ideal for the afternoon, right? 74 Poway, 75. That is the midnight temperatures we're expected. By 5 a.m., we'll see a little bit of a dip in those numbers, but it's not going to last. By 9.30, we're already in the mid to upper 80s with 90s and triple digits expected to follow very quickly into the afternoon. In the seven-day forecast tomorrow, low 80s expected, low to upper 80s near the coast with sunny skies as we enter the fall season. Thursday and Friday a little bit better with temperatures closer to normal in time for the weekend. And then communities once again in the triple digits for Wednesday. Once the Santa Ana winds end, we'll get more of a westerly flow, and that is going to help temperatures out. But it's also going to bring some patchy clouds on Friday. Inland communities should be back to the low 80s over the weekend. In the mountains, mid 80s tomorrow with gusty winds, sunny skies on Thursday, but monsoonal moisture is expected to return. So for the end of the week, becoming more humid as temperatures start to drop back down. Possible thunderstorms in the forecast. It looks like Thursday and Saturday may actually have the better chances. And then over towards the deserts, let's not forget about you, 106 to start off the fall. But on Friday, it should be better with 101 degrees. Seems cool compared. <laughs> Thanks, Angelica.